game plan. We went uh, all week with the game plan. Coach Ginn wanted to pound the football. That's one of his uh, favorite things to do is run the football. I just executed the, uh, the game plan. That's it. It's like we get our member like a second half team, but really kicked in. Uh, O-line kicked in. O-line was locked in. I talked to the O-line after the first drive. They just locked in. I just did the rest of the part, the running part. Just read. We watch film. I said, this is what we worked for. This is all we worked for. All the uh, Sunday practices, the Friday practices, when everybody was at out having parties and stuff, we was uh, having uh, practice. It's just it's a part that we worked for, and alignment play a big part. Do you guys practice Sunday that often? Yes, we practice actually every day. We probably got one day off Saturdays. That's what uh, the, man, the mentally mentality part is right there. We got practice every day, no excuses. You know, I, we've been we've been repping them for all year, for about too much really, you know, that's what we've been doing for us, watching a film from last year and different things like that. So we pretty much knew everything that they do. You know, we knew they had a couple of top notch guys, five and six to play. You know, we knew we had to stop them and make them throw, you know, so. And we did a pretty good job with that. What does that put on a kid like Sincere? It was his first start at middle linebacker, I think. Yeah, well, you know, Sincere, the, the, the 10th grade has really shocked me, you know. Uh, all those guys, Sincere and JoJo, 11, 8, 3, and 17, are all sophomores. You know what I'm saying? They worked hard all year. And to put them on the stage like this, you know, that was that's what more I'm more excited about that. You know, them young kids, they a little short, but they midgets, but they can play. Since he was a very vocal young guy, like he don't play around in practice, he's like always serious. And you can see he got Arville, oh no more from last year. He look up to Arville, so it's like yeah, anything that happens, he always asks me or Arville or Braylon. So I was like, when I seen him like out here tackling everybody today, giving us great reads, I already knew what it's gonna be. He's gonna be a a great player to watch over the next few years. Down seven nothing. You guys in waiver. Take us through your mindset. Uh, well, we we didn't been in games where we went down. The teams have scored on us, but it's all about your bounce back. I knew, like a running back like D, like Deshante, when he see me go down like that, he get in a different type of mode. Now it's like once he gets a rolling, it's like he a hard guy to talk, um, tackle. And then when Demarion come, like when you see how he come in the game, he a big impact player. He catch everything. Very insane catch radius, great route running. It's like going against guys like that every day in practice, you're going to just get better. So I, mean, like, I didn't think when we went down, it didn't phase us at all. I think he's a big 10 back for real. Um, I don't understand why we don't get those type of looks for him. Um, you know, I think he missed Ohio for real. You know, if he, he's very hard to bring down. He's big, but he's fast for his size, you know, and very powerful. And you got quick feet to be a big kid. Came in, had a chip on my shirt my senior year, had to pop it off right. You guys start this season the way you finished last season on this field. Did it give you some special feelings being back out here running tonight? Oh uh, Yeah, it gave a very special feeling, especially being a senior and the little guys, young guys, uh, having young guys out here. It just feels so good to have another uh, team that listen and everybody coming uh, together as a team. It's just good. It's the organization and system is just great.